Thank you for staying with us. It's time now to take a look at stories making headlines on the front page of Nigeria newspapers. And I begin with this Nigeria newspaper. The major story here says, Edo Obasaki finally knocks out Shwaibu. And the writers there, in a predictable outcome, Assembly impeaches Deputy Governor on alleged gross misconduct. Ex-Deputy Governor vows to fight on in an emotional farewell broadcast. 38-year-old Omobayo Godwin takes over. And the picture there showing when the going was good. Another story here, we can shot Zabuja ICC for renovation, stakeholders approved transition, committee for the Liberal Party as a B6 reconciliation. ELCC quizzes 14 suspected oil thieves in Port Harcourt to refute a 30 billion naira probe against Beta Edu. $4.5 billion, $2.8 billion. It may fail to cool his heels in EFCC custody, court adjourns case to Thursday. Now, CBN bans use of foreign currency as collateral for Naira. Some of the stories you find on the front page of this Nigerian newspaper. To the matrix now, the major story here, still talking about Edo crisis, Shoibu's impeachment, Obasaki opens up. And the writers there say, I had no plans of working with two deputy governors before end of my tenure. Shaibu Kicks says impeachment dangerous descent into dictatorship, threat to foundation of democracy. New deputy governor reveals why he dumped the Labour Party, vows not to drag power with Obaseki. And the picture there saying, a tale of two Godwins. Labour Party crisis, NLC sacks Aburi to conduct another, an audit rather on parties' accounts. Lagos court orders EFCC to remand Emefiele. Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway Presidency Blaster Tiku says the Vice President um, has made hollow low points again. That's the former Vice President Tiku Abubakar is who they are referring to. Another story there, CBN gives new guidelines, bans use of foreign currency denominated collaterals for Naira loans. Some of the stories you find on the front page of the Matrix. And then we move to the front page of the Daily Trust. And the major story here says, Shaibu becomes 17th impeached deputy governor since 1999. Lawyers divided over constitutional leeway for lawmakers. Obaseki swears in 38-year-old engineer as deputy. And then we have an infograph here of deputy governors impeached in Nigeria since 2019. Another story here, better I do. EFCC recovers 30 billion naira, investigates 50 accounts. Ahead neck meeting, PDP reps demand Damagon's uh, resignation. Well, some of the stories you find on the front page of the Daily Trust. To the first news newspaper now, impeachment, Shaibule causes on Edo Assembly lawmakers, uh, swears history will judge you harshly for betraying electorate. The class removal illegal, a charade, vows to fight injustice, says assembly men lack power to silence voice of justice, truth. My Akukwedo kinsmen excited about my appointment, says new deputy governor. And uh, court bars seconders from PDP uh, neck BOT meetings. Right, another story there. First news editor abduction, NPAN, NGE, NUJ, the man probe threatens lawsuit. That's the Guild of Editors, uh, Major Union of Journalists demanding probe, and uh, they're threatening a lawsuit following the, uh, the abduction of the first news editor's abduction. Uh, right, another story here Emirates resumes flights to Nigeria in June, says federal government. Some stories you find on the front page of the first news newspaper to the Salient Times now. Mixed reactions trail Philip Scheibel's um, impeachment as Edo deputy governor. History will judge you harshly, Scheibel blasts Edo assembly over impeachment. I'm learning on the job. I won't drag power with Sobasaki, Edo deputy governor has said. Now, stakeholders approved transition committee for Labour Party. And the CBN bans use of foreign currency as collateral for Naira. 
And uh, Ida of Fetri, Bauchi Governor, approves 10,000 Naira wage award to civil servants. Court finds Halima Abubakar 10 million Naira for defaming Apostle Suleiman. Some of the stories you find on the front page of the Salient Times. To the blueprint now, nine days to PDP neck, fresh crisis hits party as 60 reps demand Amagum's sack, accused acting national chair of uh, anti party activities. Now, with few days to sell off, federal government flags off 42,000 metric tons of grains distribution admits Tinubu's policy reforms come with transitional pains. Some stories you find on the front page of the blueprint to the Daily Times now. 60 PDP lawmakers demand resignation of Damagum, threaten to quit party, reject foisting of APC loyalists as caretaker committee members in Rivers, 10 other states. And uh, Edo Deputy Governor position Omabaya sworn in as Shaibu rejects impeachment. New Deputy Governor pledges loyalty to Obaseki. Shaibu describes his impeachment as dictatorship. AAC candidate CRPP boss condemn ouster of ex Edo Deputy Governor. And uh, to the nation newspaper, CBN steps of measures to strengthen Naira against the dollar. Federal government deploys the, uh, apps to monitor ministers' performance. XTCN boss accuses agency of mismanaging 500 million naira. Twisting Labour Party PDP cries. Protest at uh, NLC Parley. The Magum should quit now. And of course, let's 4.8 billion dollar, 2.8 billion naira fraud. May Philip pleads not guilty. <coughs> Nigerian News Direct says here. Yeah, Naira gains continue as CBN sells dollar to BDCs at 1,101 Naira to a dollar. Apex Bank prohibits use of foreign currency as collateral for loans. Traffic law violation, Governor McKinley condemns assault of traffic warnings by immigration officers. Federal government empowers Nigerians with tracker app to monitor, provide feedback and performance bond of ministers. And you can see the big picture there of um, uh, the... Um, Palum Minubi, who was uh, made a brand ambassador to the Lagos State Ministry of Tourism yesterday. And, of course, the Lagos State Governor presented her a brand new uh, vehicle there as a brand ambassador. It's on the, on the front page of the Nigerian News Direct. The Vanguard says, Wills for Forex dealers as CBN cuts BDC rates to 1,117.5 naira to a dollar. Bans foreign denominated collateral for Naira loans. Analyst attributes Naira appreciation to CBN policies. Incentive for Forex malpractice eliminated. That's according to APCON. Okwama, March 14 killers. War military fatigue, says eyewitnesses. Oil for cash loans. Nigeria to get $1 billion from Afrika Exim Bank. Edel Fetri, Akbabio governors, others congratulate Muslims. Preach peace, love. That's in the front page of the Vanguard newspaper this morning. The punch is saying here, banks get three months deadline to stop forex back, back loans. Banks' customers begin negotiation to liquidate loans and freeze DOM account balances. Naira rises to 1,220 Naira to a dollar as CBN sells forex to borrow the change operators at 1,101 dollar. That's in the punch newspaper. This morning, Abbasiki swears a new deputy as Assembly Sack Shoaibu. Of course, this and many more in the front page of the Punch newspaper. We we'll move now to the Guardian. Naira nears 1,000 to a dollar as CBN's policy stress test banks unlock liquidity. <coughs> Petrol subsidy payment pushes NNPCL's fuel import debts to 3 billion Naira, a dollar rather. Illegal mining can, can new marshals and economic sabotage. Moving on, wobbly opposition. PDP cri crisis gets messier as Labour Party battles internal bleeding. Schreiber protests his impeachment, of course, as Gordon emerges new deputy governor and court remands him in EFCC custody. That's in the Guardian newspaper this morning. Now let's move to the Daily Independence newspaper. Nigerian banks loan environment still toxic. Analyst laments. CBN bans use of foreign currency, denominated collateral for Naira loans, approves daily sales of $10,000 to 1,588 BDC operators. 60 PDP reps ask acting chairman to resign, threatening to quit the party. I'll fight this injustice with all my strength, according to 
uh, impeached Edo Deputy Governor. Mobile Godwin sworn in as Deputy Governor. We move now to Business Day. Dollars pour into Nigeria at fastest clip in five years. Ban A power plant faces a brick wall of 5.8 million, uh, million unmetered customers. Geometric about delay. This is our story by Interstate Electric. Uh, FBN Holdings eyes 300 billion naira in fresh capital. That's in Business Day this morning. We move to Business AM. Nigerians master robust outcries against new electricity tar tariff hike. Bank recapitalization, financial experts, economists, de develop analysts uh, weigh in. Development analysts weigh in. And of course, this and many more in the front page of Business AM newspaper this morning. The Platform Times says NNPC faces $3 billion backlog on fuel payments. Courts remand to Mayfield for alleged abuse of office. $4.5 billion, $2.8 billion Naira fraud. Better Educate, EFCC recovers $30 billion Naira, pros 50 banks. Wife of Binance Executive appeals for release amid money laundering charges. NLC dismisses Abores NWC, initiates audit of Labour Party finances. Sultan to Nigerian Muslims. It officially shifts to Wednesday as Shawal Moon not cited. That's in Platform Times this morning. And finally, in Sporting uh, Life newspaper, Osimian makes list of 10 highest goal scoring jumps in football. Pochettino, Chelsea, not mature enough to compete. In the Premier League, it will be set new 16,289 meters records, breaks Mikel's 16,218 minutes. Um, at least first goal so important against, against Super Falcons. Ten Hag, Manchester United were very good. Despite Liverpool draw, they said many more in the front page of Sporting Life newspaper this morning. Right. We have uh, so many uh, stories this morning on the front page of uh, the newspapers. Uh, but what is dominating the papers this morning is developments from Edo State, mm -hmm. talking about uh, the impeachment of Shaibu and uh, the swearing in of uh, uh, the new deputy governor. Mm -hmm. And then we also have uh, the matter of uh, what's going on with regards to the PDP as well as the uh, Labour Party. Mm -hmm. But uh, this matter of Shaibu seems to be what is on the lips of a majority of Nigerians, especially because, you know, the deputy, uh, the new deputy governor is said to have been with uh, the Labour Party initially, and, and then the he now moved to the PDP, and he gave reasons for that. Well, perhaps for... Uh, political relevance yes. as it is and it seemingly is paying off for him at the mm -hmm. end of the day and um, that conversation it has been on on social media and across uh, media platforms uh, this morning but um, Shaibu is talking tough he's, he's not resting on his oars he's, he's, to this. Already. he's saying he's heading to the court mm -hmm. to address this matter yes of course he's heading to court to address this matter but uh, we see Going towards the elections in, in Edo State coming up um, this year, uh, well, everyone, political, for political reasons, the government might have its um, reason for doing this, for initiating this um, move. Of course, we cannot say that the governor's hand is not in, in, in this matter, even if he looks like he's aloof in all of this. <laughs> <laughs> that is your opinion. <laughs> well, even if he feels like he's aloof in all right. of this, but, um, but the thing is, uh, the, in Edo State, politics in Edo State is quite interesting. Mm. And, um, the, the intrigues. The yeah. intrigues and all of that. And of course, looking at the fact that um, the last election, Shoebo was in, instrumental in, in helping the PDP win election, helping Godin Obasaki win election. And this, all, of, all of this um, emanates from the fact that he had his own political ambition, which he has never hidden from anybody in the past, that he wants to be governor after Obasaki. He wants to take over the reins of Edo State after Obasaki has left. And, of course, there seemed to be a gentlemanly arrangement between the Ishan people and um, Obaseki and the PDP saying that, you know, that kind of <coughs> arrangement where once you leave, we take over and all of that. But <coughs> we, we will see what's going to, how this is going to pan out as At the end of Obaseki the is going to, uh, Shoebu is heading to court already. Mm. Let's see if this, the court will set aside this case and ensure that Obaseki, uh, Shoebu continues as deputy governor till the end of 
the tenure of this administration. All right. Uh, let's uh, quickly now move on to 